This here's the story of how the Glory Boys and Tim Newfeld found each other. It all started with Tim and a guitar and a song, but well, no Glory Boys. Well, he was alone and depressed until he had an idea. He had to go out and find him some Glory Boys. That's just what he did. His requirements weren't too specific. They needed to be Lord Love and Hillbillies. They needed to be kindred spirits. But beyond that, well, his requirements were simple. The first thing was, they needed to look a lot like Jesus. Well, that was easy. Turns out the first dude at the bus stop fit the bill just fine. Well, as they got along, they joined forces to find the next member of the Glory Boys. And as luck would have it, shortly thereafter, their prayers were answered. Well, they found a banjo player all right. One stunningly handsome giant of a man with the fastest fingers in the West and a beard as red as... A maple leaf in fall. And Tim and the boys agreed. The next feller, well, he couldn't just look like Jesus and play a bluegrass instrument. This one had to be the most Canadian of all. Hey! Get in! Okay! But he couldn't just take his word for it. You Canadian? Sure as am, eh? We'll see. He had to be sure. What's an 80s Canadian TV show about a homeless yet helpful dog? The Littlest Hobo. Finish this sentence. The good old hockey game is the best game you can name. This last one's multiple choice. An ice cap is A, the top of a glacier, B, a hat worn by an Inuit man, C, a frozen drink at an omnipresent Canadian donut shop known for its horrible yet addictive coffee. C, an awesome drink at Timmy's. What is this? Hey, looks like a Stanley Cup. You could cut the tension with a knife. Neither man would break. Was he in? Was he out? Were the glory boys complete? Glory Boys, and they were a brotherhood at last. 